All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I have to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Shema Shaku Malaki Washai. That is to say, Yahweh being named the Heavenly Father, who the world will call God. And Yahweh Shai being named his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. This is Brother Kisadi from WFI Jersey, Philly. And um, we going into it. Right, you see the, you see the uh, screen, right? Illinois law that's about to be passed tomorrow, known as the Safety Act, um, in, in January 1st of 2023. Right, the so-called New Year is literally about to take an effect in just a, a, a few hours. Now, if you don't know about this law that's about to be passed, we're gonna go into it for you, right? So this is APNews.com. It says Illinois law doesn't make murder and other crimes non-detainable offenses. So what what does that mean? Well, let's go into it. It says suspects facing serious charges, including second degree murder. <clears throat> Kidnapping, robbery, burglary, and arson will no longer be held in custody until trial under a new first in the nation Illinois law abolishing cash bail statewide. So why is this so significant? Because someone can literally go commit a second degree murder or it can be deemed as a second degree murder. Kidnap. He can go out and kidnap somebody, go out and rob from somebody. And they're not going to be sitting behind bars or anything like that, according to how the society was once run. Now they're going to make Illinois, which has one of the most dangerous city in all of the world, right, Chicago. They're going to use it as a testing ground to pretty much bring anarchy on the United States. And we know these things are prophesied to happen. This is the reason why we're touching on this through the video, because we understand this is supposed to happen. We, we know the prophecies are they're supposed to come to pass. The Lord's word is always going to come to pass. It's not going to, you know, be a, a mishap or maybe the Lord didn't mean it, you know, tell Ezra this or tell Isaiah this or Jeremiah this and it's not going to happen. No, every single thing that's written from Genesis to Revelation will and must come to pass. You understand? So something like this to us is not surprising, but to you it may be or to those who don't have the understanding just yet, it may be surprising. But when you go into the prophecies, you know the Lord said these things will happen, right? So continuing on, it says judges in Illinois will still have discretion to order um, suspects for these and other serious crimes held in jail, pending trial if they are deemed a threat to public safety or a flight risk. And this is what they, they want to say to us. They want to say these things because to make it seem like, well, hold, hold on, you know, let's not get people riled up. But guess what? What they're telling you is straight up and down, if you go and commit a second degree murder, then you can't be held behind bars until your trial. Now, there's another thing. I hope this article touches on it, but they, they also would give someone like 48 hours before they can go grab them up. 48 hours. I hope this is in this, this in this article. If not, you know, I'll go find it. Let me actually hold on. Give me one second. So I'll um let's continue on with this article. I'm gonna jump down. It says the post, right? It says the post lists a range of violent crimes that they say will be considered non-detainable, including second degree murder, kidnapping, robbery, burglary, arson. Arson, I could go damn blow up some buildings. Now we would never do that according to the law. According to believing in Yahweh Shemel Shai, we, why would we do such an act? But nevertheless, those that's in Illinois, those who's not keeping the commandments of God, and their mind is all jammed up and defiled, and they can go and uh, make some damn false flag events and say we did it. It says, and threatening a public official. You can go and threaten a public official, and that's considered a non-detainable offense. The posts also include dire warnings that Chicago and other Illinois communities will soon devolve into a real life version of the purge. A horror movie where all crimes, including murder, is allowed on one night a year. So this is what's real life coming to you. Now, if you haven't never seen the movie The Purge, let me look this up real quick. Give me a second. Right. Look this thing up. Now, if you've never seen The Purge, right, they have multiple different Purge movies and, and whatnot. 
But um, one of the ones that they had dropped, I think this is like the third one in the series, they call it the first purge because it kind of goes back to the how the purge even came about, right? The prelude to it. Now, if you don't see, this man, he has a Bible in his hand. He has dreadlocks. He has some face paint. He has a bottle. It looks like a uh, damn um, Casamigos or Terramana tequila. In his hand, is lit on fire. He's dressed in all black. He has a cloak or a cage, uh, a damn um, cape on. Look, he got a bandana under his neck. I don't know what's going on. It says a nation reborn. I mean, we're trying to rebirth our nation. So this look like propaganda right here, if, if I had to say anything. Right? And, and if you didn't know, this movie is about them putting out the first purge and things like that on, on the nation of Israel. Right? On the so-called blacks and Hispanics. They literally target, I think this was the city of Bronx, New York. I think this is on Bronx. Let me see. Is this Bronx? Let me look at this real quick. Let me show you something. So let's go into it. It says, I'm going to go down here. I believe this is Bronx. Well, it might be. Let me look at this. It says, it is the fourth installment in the Purge franchise. Right? And eight. Look how much money they made from this movie. It's evil. It says, the, the film is a prelude depicting the origins of the annual Purge, a 12-hour span once a year in which all crime in America, including murder, that R word, and arson is legal. It originates as an experiment uh, confined to Staten Island, New York, with the promise that those who stay on the island for its duration will be paid a large sum of money. But a new political party, the New Founding Fathers, is determined to get the results they want by any means necessary. So what they wanted was they wanted them to go do these acts right here. You know, this act, murder. You know, that act we won't say. And this act right here, arson. And they wanted them to do it, but guess what? They didn't do it in the movie. I don't want to spoil the movie, but they didn't do it in the movie. So what they did was they pretty much, these this party, it comes about, and these men, they're behind closed doors. They're watching them, and they're forcing them to start doing some things. They start sending agents, send some agents out there. And like I said, I don't want to spoil the movie, so you got to check it out. But um, a lot a lot went on in that movie. And it, it shows you what they're about to do to Illinois. It's a lot, kid. What they about to do to Illinois. Right? So it said, going back to this thing. It says what? Hold on, where we at? Where is we at with it? Um, damn, where we leave off at? Okay, we right here. It says January 1st, Illinois will take its place in uh, history. Oh, we read that already. Is this what we read? Yeah, no, we didn't read this. Read on. When they become the first state to test out the purge in real life, an Instagram user uh, wrote on Monday, the ironically named Safety Act will charge and release criminals without bail for 12 now non-detainable non offenses. Now let's get into some of these. Those offenses include second-degree murder, aggravated uh, a battery. Let's go damn beat somebody's ass and get away with it. You can tomorrow you can beat somebody's ass and get away with it. It says arson. You can go light some buildings on fire and get away with it. I mean, it sounds like them things that they was doing back in 2020, them riots. But now they want to force the hand and make us really try to do these things. It says drug induced homicide. Many of you killed somebody and they, they, they pretty much overdosed. Or, I mean, they can lead us up to speculation. They can say, well, look, they was they had drugs. He had drugs in his pocket and, you know, and the long and behold, they're, they're selling on the block. Somebody drive by, then spray the block up, whatever. And the man that, you know, the men that died, they had drugs in their pocket. And they can say, well, that's a drug induced homicide. Look, we can't do nothing about it. It says kidnapping. Can't do nothing about it. This is about to be damn the devil's playground over in Illinois. As if America already wasn't that. It says burglary, robbery, intimidation, aggravated DUI. You can just get drunk and just drive. 
got the bottle of damn tequila in your right hand, do say XO a three hundred dollar bottle in your left hand, and you then nobody you want cruise control you thought, and you just crash into another man, and his car and his family. It says aggravated DUI, aggravated fleeing and eluding. Now I know some uh some some um kinfolk right. Who who had aggravated fleeing and eluding, and they got years behind uh them damn bars in prison. In federal prison. Years. Now you telling me you could just go out there and and the police trying to stop you, you could just you got your damn Hellcat, you just boarded a week ago. Don't really know how to drive it. Just been watching videos, and now you in your car, you damn you press the gas uh, pedal, it go to 60 in like two seconds, and you flee from the police. And they can't, that's it. I mean, they wasn't going to catch you because you got a Hellcat, but now guess what? Even if they saw you at the stoplight again, they can't do nothing about it. They got to wa wash that away. It says drug offenses. You telling me the dope dealer's about to go out to Illinois and just go crazy out there? Damn YSL and all them damn fake rap gangs? It says, and threatening a public official. Wow. Imagine if this came to uh, New York. Imagine if it went to California. Imagine if this was over in Georgia and what would take place in Texas. In Florida. So this is about to come to you live and direct. In just a few hours, depending on what time you're watching this. Illinois, y'all better brace yourselves. This thing about to go down. Now, let's get some precepts on it. Let's get some precepts on this thing. Right? And Lord willing, I'll make another video. I'm going to go live, most of willing, tonight, depending on what time you're watching this, on this Romans 11 breakdown. Right? Go into that through the Spirit. But let me kick this thing off with 2 Ezra chapter 13. This 2 Ezra chapter 13, and I believe I want to start at verse 29. Right? Because the Lord has spoken on this. It says, behold, the days come. Right? The Lord didn't say it, it may happen. I say it like this because it says the days come, meaning it will happen. It will happen. This is prophecy. When the Most High will begin to deliver them that dwell upon, it's like it, deliver them that are upon the earth. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. Right? When Yahweh Shai returns, this is going to be as an astonishment. Man, uh, you know, they think that we just niggas. Just niggas out here and we just got Bibles. Niggas with Bibles. Niggas with Bibles and staffs and canes. That's what we are. With carpet on the bottom of our shirt. And garments. And, and, and turbans. We trying to be Muslim. Hell no, man. Hey, we're the Lord's chosen people. Now, this is an astonishment to the world because they don't understand and they can't fa you know, fathom in their mind that we're the most high chosen people and he's rising us up day by day. And one shall undertake to fight against another. One city against another. One place against another. One people against another and one realm against another and the time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the sign shall happen which i showed thee before and then shall my son be declared whom thou sawest as a man ascendant so the lord said these things shall happen there's going to be people fighting against men men on you know men fighting men uh looting and rioting all hell and anarchy breaking loose in the earth the second Ezra 15 to 15. For the sword and the destruction draw them nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, and there shall be a sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their power shall stand in their power. Sorry, the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So the Lord said these things are going to take place, man. You're literally, I'm going to jump to verse 19. It says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Right? That's going to happen. We're reading about it. These second degree uh, murders, that's going to take place. These second degree or um, aggravated DUIs and uh, arson and robbery and burglary. I mean, that's, that's this was written right here. So continuing on, it says what? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. 
and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's plain. The Lord said these things are going to take place upon uh, um, this world very soon. And it's going to be for what? For great tribulation. Tribulation. And what the Lord is talking about, that great tribulation, that's the time of Jacob's trouble. That's the time that's about to come on the earth. Where all men whose mind isn't right with the Lord, they're going to be destroyed. That includes those of Israel. And of course the heathen. You understand? So the Lord said these things are going to happen. And we know these things must come to pass. And the only reason why the so-called white man is letting these things happen is because judgment right now on this earth is slacked. He wants violence. He's known as the bloody man. He wants more anarchy. He wants more looting. He wants more riots. And we want those same things too because we know it's biblical prophecy. But he wants it because he, he's void of the understanding of the Most High. He wants it because he just want to see men just, just kill each other. He likes to see, he likes blood. He go to the damn Texas, uh, uh, what is it? Damn Outback Steakhouse or Texas uh, Roadhouse or, or Longhorn Steak, any, all of them damn steakhouses. And he gets his steak damn bloody. That's how he like. He likes that blood. So the Lord is going to bring that blood on his earth in the worst way possible. This is a Beckett, chapter 1 and verse 1. The burden which a Beckett, the prophets did see. Oh, Yahweh, how long shall I cry? And thou will not hear. Even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou will not save. Why doest thou show me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? For spoiling and violence are before me. And there are that uh, rise up strife and contention. Therefore, the law is slack and judgment do never go forth for the wicked can pass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. And we see that the wrong judgment in the earth is proceeding. It's continuing on. Let's go to Jeremiah, the ninth chapter. Right. It's Jeremiah, chapter nine, and verse three. Right. We're supposed to be keeping laws. It's laws when you put man to death. It's laws when you rob from somebody. There is laws, but the society doesn't abide by the laws. This society has their own constitution and they don't abide by their own constitution. This is Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 3. And they bend their tongues like their bow for lies, but they are not violent for the truth upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil and they know not me, said Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. So we know these men, all they like to do is talk lies and speak lies because the Lord told us in Daniel the 8th chapter that through their policy, and they're going to cause their craft to prosper. This Daniel chapter 8 and verse 25. And through his policy also, he shall cause his craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. He also shall stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. So the Lord said, look, this is what they do. This is how they get down. They make these policies. They, they put out these different motions and different constitutions and amendments and acts in the earth. But guess what? It's all for them to be broken down in the end. So in these last days, we got to continue to stand 10 toes down for the Lord, man. We got to rise up for Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. We know these men, they hate judgment. They hate righteousness. They love wickedness and anarchy. That's why the Lord said this in Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 14. And judgment is turned away backward and justice standing for far off. For truth is fallen in the street and equity cannot enter. And we see these things play out. We see these things in the earth. We got to come back to the Lord. We got to serve Yahweh Hashem Yashai. We can't be like the rest of this world. We can't be like these heathen because all hell is about to break loose. And if you out there, you out there. And it is what it is. So with that, I bid a strong shalom. Continue to watch for these prophecies. Uh, stay ten toes down. Endure for the kingdom of heaven's sake. With that, call me Shalom.